It's time now for your top 10 plays of the night. At number 10, Grizzlies Mavericks. Mavs home, by the way, for the first time since February 14th. Maxi Kleber finds Dwight Powell on the cut, throws down the one-handed slam. Number nine, Utah Jazz had the second most threes in a game in NBA history, but it was a defensive play. We're talking about Rudy Gobert coming up with the big rejection on LaMelo Ball. Number eight, John Wall starts, stops, plays with the defense a little bit before blowing past the defender for the layup and the foul. In at number seven, Shea Gilgis Alexander had 31 in his last game. Coming into this one, how would he top it? Drives through the teeth of the Heat defense and gets the tough layup through traffic to go. Number six, Russell Westbrook taking on the Lakers, flips the pass behind his head to Mo Wagner, who throws down the two-handed slam. Number five, Jay Sean Tate flies in for the put-back slam dunk. Check this out again. Goes around the D. He had 12 points and eight rebounds on the night. We're down to our top four now. Malik Monk drives down the baseline, gets the reverse layup to go. He had 20 points off of the bench in just 24 minutes of play. Time for our top three. In at number three, Jay Sean Tate gets the crazy behind the head layup to fall. That's what we call a no look bucket. Fancy stuff. Number two, Devin Booker takes his man off the dribble, drives in, gets the layup and the foul call. This was no joke. And it's time now for your top play of the night. Damian Jones gets the ball coming downhill, elevates for the huge one-handed slam. He had two made field goals, by the way, on the night. But if that was his only one, it would have been good enough for us. That's it for your top 10.